What do you think happens with the Netflix Flix film? The idea that they're spending $25 million on marketing, is that enough for them to actually win an Oscar? Well, one thing I know is the favorite is not the favorite. Yeah. Um, the, Roma uh, is. Ro Roma's the favorite yeah. um, by Critics Pick and by uh, Ti been? Time Magazine put in all these variables over the last 50 years of how it wins and it came up four times more likely to win than anything <laughs> else. I don't think it's going to win. And the reason I don't think it's going to win goes to the heart of your question. I think it is such a disruptive pick for the Academy to end up embracing something that is really going to go to the heart of movie theatrical distribution and the whole windowing system right. it has. It's so disruptive to right. the industry. And, you know, it, it, Netflix came up with a better way to watch television. Consumers have voted. It's a great way to get what you want, when you want it, how you want it. And they're doing the same thing with movies. People have been talking about simultaneous release to the home for a long time. And movie th studios have run the numbers on that many, many times. And it's been, oh, should we charge $20 for at the home, $25 at the home if it simultaneously opens? Nobody's ever done it. Not but only there would is be a lot of people who would pay it. Uh, a lot of people would pay it. What Netflix is doing is not only tiny window three weeks, then into the home, but it's free as part of your Netflix service. Theatrical quality films being released with no incremental cost, that's hugely disruptive. Barry Diller was interviewed last week and said that Hollywood is dead because of just this, that Netflix is the Hollywood killer. You think that's a, an accurate representation? No. I mean, the, the, the talent pool that exists in Hollywood is simply going to find alternative. I think he meant the studios. Yeah, I think the, he the studio financing the system yeah. is in the midst of huge disruption. And you, you have Disney trying to chase Netflix with its streaming service and Warner trying to chase with its streaming service Comcast. and Comcast mm -hmm. NBC with its. Uh, and none of them are going to be able to catch uh, Netflix when it comes to the number of subscribers it has and with that the amount of money it can pour into television and movie production. The key to this, though, is how much more is going to come after it. Roma is a small foreign language art film. Wait till the end of this year when a Scorsese film, <laughs> uh, a Michael Bay film, uh, is likely to be released uh, in the same fashion directly into the theaters by Netflix. You're going to have this whole trend hugely accelerate. You know, game this out just from an investor's perspective, because we've got a lot of people playing along at home trying to figure out what this means. Follow the money. How do you invest in a situation? like this when everything's being disrupted or is it too difficult to tell right now well I, I, movie theaters are not going to go away uh, I always think that for purposes of the big action adventure big special effects movies you're going to have uh, a theatrical experience that's better than home date night families taking kids to the theater but there's going to be a lot more of this direct release to the home type of uh, uh, windowing, so to speak. You know, think of The Star is Born. Uh, it's uh, released, what, October of 18, won't be on HBO till the uh, summer of 19. I'm not long on movie theaters over the next five years. You know, Tom, I, I, I think of it just like retail and with consumer packaged goods. You look at Heinz, the collapse that it has today because consumer cha changes of taste, or changes, tastes have changed. You look at Macy's and all the retailers reporting next week, they're getting hit the same way. Consumers are changing, and as a result, you're still going to have people shopping. You're still going to have people going out to the movies. You're still going to have people eating some of these packaged goods. But they're going to have to change their entire business. And it gets really disruptive in the meantime. I mean, it's the new stuff that wins, right? I go to the brand new theater that will serve me dinner at the same time. Uh, yes. Uh, the, the seats have gotten incredibly comfortable. Yeah. They're, trying to, they're trying to make up for what it would otherwise be like at home. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, when you can get a movie at home, you don't have to pay incrementally for it, you don't have to pay $16 for popcorn, there are a lot of people who are going to say, this is what I want, how I want it, when I want it. It's yeah. going to be a tough trend to stop.